Mr. Beeley, if you can please raise your right hand. I'm right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Mr. Beeley, if you can please state your true and correct legal name. Say it again. Can you please state your true and correct legal name? Uh, a. P. V. And are you the same person referred to on the indictment you just signed of 22 SC 183572? Did you just sign that indictment? Yes. Okay. Are you at this time taking or under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medicine? No, ma'am. How old are you? 23. And how far did you go in school? I went far. What's that mean? Like, I did 12. You went to 12th grade? Mm -hmm. Did you graduate? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? I mean, yes. Okay. Are you able to read, write, and understand the English language? Yes. With respect to indictment 22SC 183572, how do you plead to conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organization Act? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. How do you plead to theft by receiving stolen property? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. How do you plead to violation of the Georgia Controlled Substance Act in count nine? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. How do you plead to violation of the Georgia Controlled Substance Act as to count 10? Guilty or not guilty? How do you plead to possession of a firearm by a convicted felon? Guilty. How do you plead to participation in criminal street gang activity? Guilty. How do you plead to armed robbery reduced to robbery by force? Guilty. How do you plead to hijack a motor vehicle in the first degree? Guilty. Is this guilty plea freely and voluntarily given with a full knowledge of the charges against you? Yes. Do you understand that you have only a limited right to appeal this guilty plea conviction? Do you understand that you have only four years from today's date for the felony charges to file a habeas corpus petition challenging the voluntariness of this guilty plea? Yes. Your Honor, had this case proceeded to trial, the state of Georgia would have proved beyond a reasonable doubt that in late 2012, within the Cleveland Avenue area of Atlanta, Georgia, that YSL, who claimed affiliation with the National Blood Gang, was formed. The founders of that organization were Jeffrey Williams, also known as Young Thug, also known as Slime, Walter Murphy, also known as DK, and Trontavia Stevens, also known as Tick or Slug, that this organization uses a number of different identifiers, including colors, clothing, tattoos, and hand signs in order to show affiliation with that organization that this organization is part of the enterprise, which is Young Slime Life, and that this defendant was a member of this enterprise and conspired to and associated together with others for the common purposes of illegal, excuse me, illegally obtaining money and property through a pattern of racketeering activity and conducting and participating in the enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity and furtherance of the conspiracy he engaged in a number of different crimes, specifically, Your Honor, two of those crimes in racketeering activity. First being one occurring on May 8th, 2012 at 151 Cleveland Avenue, which is in Southwest Atlanta, Georgia, 30315, which is an Exxon gas station in what is known to be the Young Slime Life Gang Territory that Mr. BB was a part of an undercover sting operation at the gas station. Officer Applewhite, A-P-P-L-E-W-H-A-I-T-E, -E, was operating in an undercover, undercover capacity. He went inside of, inside of the gas station and encountered the defendant. Officer Applewhite asked to purchase marijuana. The defendant asked how much, to, how much marijuana Officer Applewhite advised he wanted $20 worth. The defendant then went to the area of the store, weighed up the marijuana, and gave that marijuana to Officer Applewhite. Once the, once the sale was completed, other officers came in and placed Mr. Beebe under arrest. When they placed him under arrest, he was found with marijuana on his person, as well as a gun. The gun was then ran, and it came back stolen out of East Point 
Police Department from a car break-in in August of 2019. Additionally, Your Honor, about a year and six months later, in October 12, 2021, this defendant, along with co-conspirator Christian Eppinger, were um, at 47 Cleveland Avenue, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia, which is also in the Young Slime Life Gang Territory. While there, the victim, Mr. Darius Smith, was at that um, location, which is a park next to a library. Um, Mr. Smith was speaking with a friend of his, and while speaking with that friend, there were two black males um, described. One had a blue and black ski mask with a black and silver handgun. The other suspect had a black ski mask with a black handgun. They approached Mr. Smith and stated to him, give up that chain. Mr. Smith had a large chain that was very identifiable. That chain was a diamond encrusted chain that looked like a house and said trap commander on it. They also took additional jewelry um, and other items from Mr. Smith to include um, earrings, a diamond gold necklace, two iPhones, his car keys. They then went and jumped inside of his vehicle, which was a two, 2003 GMC Savannah. They then fled the location, um, fled the location after robbing him. Again, both of the individuals had guns. Uh, Mr. Smith um, initially called um, 911. He had left the location. A friend was able to take him to his brother's house, which was in Clayton County. When he called 911 in Clayton County, they advised he had to come back to the city of Atlanta. He did come back to the city of Atlanta and was able to encounter police where he reported um, what happened to him a few hours earlier. Um, during his time in explaining to the police what happened, he gave a description of one of the defendants. He said that he knew or was familiar with one of the defendants from the neighborhood. He was, Although he had a ski mask on, he noticed two things, his eyes as well as his hands, and that he was missing a finger. Um, after that, um, Mr. Smith was able to um, provide to law enforcement officers social media pages of first Durante BB um, wearing his chain and identifying him as the person with the missing finger that had robbed him. Um, Mr. BB was on social media promoting the chain, having the chain, some would say flossing the chain in front of the camera, which was the chain that was stolen from him. Um, further investigation into social media um, the officers were able to identify the co-defendant, Christian Eppinger, as the other person who robbed him. Um, officers were also able to get the social media information um, from Instagram, and they actually found on Instagram a recording of Christian, Christian Eppinger bragging about robbing Darius Smith that was um, turned over in discovery. After um, arrest warrants were taken out, Mr. Beebe was arrested, interesting enough, back at that same location in November of 2021 at the same 47 Cleveland Avenue where he was arrested, um, again, arrested on these charges. And then Christian Eppinger was arrested subsequently on his charge in February of 2022 after he shot Officer David Rogers. Additionally, Your Honor, we have social media postings of Mr. Beebe and Mr. Eppinger that are a part of our overt acts in this indictment, which shows them being part of and associated with the conspiracy. Um, Mr. Beebe in Act 143 of, the, um, of Count 1 of our indictment is posting a picture along with co-conspirator Christian Eppinger wearing um, what we call an, o an OTS. Um, sweatshirt, which is only the slime sweatshirt and sweatpants, again, showing his association with the enterprise and the fact that he's acting in furtherance of this enterprise and to promote this enterprise, Your Honor. Um, this is some of the evidence that the state would intend to show if this case were to go, were to move forward with trial, Your Honor. Mr. Beebe, um, good afternoon, sir. 
Sir, did you have the opportunity to fully discuss the facts and circumstances of this case and the matters in, in indictment 23 SC, I mean 21 SC 177912 and 23 CP uh, 218502 with your attorney, Mr. Partridge, to your satisfaction? Yes, sir. And do you have any questions about any of the rights that you give up by entering a guilty plea in, in this case? Those rights were set forth on the record by Ms. Simone Hilton uh, from the District Attorney's Office. Do you have any questions about those rights you wish to ask me? No, sir. Um, do you give this plea, did you have a chance to also read and sign the indictment that I'm holding up here? Yes, sir. Okay, do you have any questions about the indictment as it pertains to you in counts 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 27, or 28 you want to ask me? No, sir. All right, I don't know if the indictment's been signed, the plea has been entered. Um, Mr. Beebe, based upon the responses that you've given during the court's inquiry, I'm going to find that your guilty plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I find a factual basis for your plea, and I'm going to accept your plea as tendered and is negotiated. So as to count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeering Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, this court will sentence you in accordance with your negotiated plea to 10 years to serve five years uh, with the balance uh, probated. As to count eight, theft by receiving stolen property felony, this court will sentence you in accordance with the negotiated plea to two years community time served concurrent with count one. As it pertains to count nine, violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, this court will sentence you to two years commuted to the time you've already served concurrent to uh, count one. Did I did I say county correctly? County is step by receiving stolen property. Yeah. All right, yeah, okay, let me just redo that one again. That's uh, theft by receiving stolen property <coughs> firearm. The court will sentence you to, that's count eight, two years commuted to time served um, concurrent with count one. We go back through count nine. That's a violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act. That's two years committed to the time you've already served uh, concurrent with count one. As it pertains to count 10, violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, this court will send you to two years committed to the time served concurrent with count one. As it pertains to count 11, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, this court will send you to five years to serve concurrent uh, with count one. Count 12, participation in criminal street gang activity, this court will send you to five years consecutive to count one. And on count 27, armed robbery, this court will, will follow the recommendation and on redu reduction to robbery by force, will sentence you to 10 years to serve five years with a balance on probation. As it pertains to count 28, hijacking a motor vehicle in the first degree, this court will sentence you to 10 years to serve five years concurrent to count one with a balance on, on probation. The special, con will, I'll also give you credit toward the sentence that has been a, or is gonna be adjudged from November the 17th of 2021 toward the adjudicated time uh, that you may have to serve on, on a couple of these counts. Um, the state has also uh, acknowledged that they're going to pull the or withdraw the recidivist notice so that you will be eligible at some point in time at the discretion of the Department of Corrections, as we mentioned, for it to be parole eligible. I don't know when that will be. I just can tell you that because that's their exclusive purview. But at some point in time, by withdrawing that notice, they will be able to consider you for parole. Okay? All right. Special conditions of your sentence are as follows. You shall abide by each and every and all terms of the negotiated plea. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. If you're called to testify by any party in this case, the state's not going to call you, but if any of the other parties call you, you have to testify truthfully. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Um, you can't possess any guns unless, and less than until your right to do so is restored. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. You cannot commit any criminal acts. You understand that? Yes, sir. You can't promote or allude to YSL in, in public or on any social media platform. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. And failure to abide by any special condition of probation shall result in a revocation. That means you'll come back before myself or, or another judge to determine whether or not you, you, you violate the terms and conditions of your probation. So it will subject you to a revocation. And if that revocation is proven, um, 
the state's telling you that they're going to ask that any remaining portion be be revoked. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. You also acknowledge the fact that you've given up your Fifth Amendment right related to any statement contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments, which is a separate document which you are going to sign. You understand that, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Mr. Beebe's explained that to you. I mean, sorry, Mr. Partridge has explained that to you to your satisfaction? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And um, you also agree that you'll make no attempt to assert a Fifth Amendment privilege if you're questioned on these matters. You understand that, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, so if you're called later, if it's something you have to testify to, you'll have to testify in accordance with that, all right? All right? Yes. Sir. Okay, all right. Do you have any questions about the plea that has been entered in this particular case, Mr. Beebe? Anything you want me to answer? No, sir. All right. Are you otherwise satisfied with the with the advice and counsel of your attorney, Mr. Partridge? Yes, sir. All right. And do you have any questions about any of the indictment or any of the plea documents that you uh, you have been asked or have been presented to you? Yes, sir. All right. And do you give this? And do you give this? Let me just ask you this one more time. As to counsel. 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 27, and 28. How do you plead to these particular counts under the indictment as they pertain to you? Guilty. And you give this guilty plea freely and voluntarily, means your own decision to enter a plea this, this afternoon? Yes. Okay, all right. And sir, then I find that based upon the responses that you've given and the colloquy in this case and the court's questioning of you that your plea Pleas are freely and voluntarily entered. I find a factual basis. I'm going to go ahead and accept your pleas as tendered and negotiate to sentence you to the, as, um, as indicated. You're 23 years old. You've had enough trial in your life at this point in time. Would you agree? Yes. Time to have a little testimony. Time to, time to be, to, to reclaim your own life. And that you can do in this case, or if you just, Separate yourself from the people that you that you've been hanging out with. Find some new friends. Find some new people that are going to be positive in your life. And if they don't add to your life, then you need to cut them loose, because that's the way you'll have be able to have a decent life and a life where you won't have to worry about somebody doing this all the time, knocking on your door trying to find you for some other reason, or also put your life at risk. So just something to think about. Okay, but. Um, do you have any other questions of me? No, sir. Thank All right, you. young man, then that's that.